Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Team JNC versus Mirage Knight, and this is going to be another Iron Man, and this was from the Goo Gaming Iron Man tournament, so make sure to go ahead and check out Goo Gaming, link down below, and Team JNC, and then let's go ahead and hop right into this, so we will see Team JNC win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot, and they will decide to go first 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Ponix, Kieran, Black Witch, Imperm, Ash Blossom. They have Bonfire, Black Witch, Droll, Wanted, Imperm. Okay, so they have two hand traps here to try to stop us. So we're going to go normal Ponix, Ponix, go grab Sanctuary, drop Droll and Lockbird, and then activate Sanctuary, bring out Island, summon Black Witch, Sun Sanctuary, Black Witch effect to go set, and then they Imperm that. Okay. Um, I mean, that's just going to be SP, right? Yeah, go ahead and make SP. Well, I guess we could go Link Karibo then SP. Yep, it's fine. Which is probably just the correct thing to do there. Because, like, you know, having this in Graveyard is nice for the follow-up. But also it does mean that, like, SP is easier to out with Sky Crisis. But it's probably fine because if they summon Sky Crisis and we just have Island Effect again next turn. Oh, we're going to SP Banish? Oh, okay, 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 sure. Banish their Droll. I was going to say, I mean, you could banish, like, your own Black Witch to stop Dark Charmer from taking it. Or Ponix to stop it from being taken from a Hita. But, yep, Banish Droll is fine to stop Selene plays. Um, set Imperm Pass to draw Original. And then Wanted, Ghost Search, Black Witch, Main Phase, Discard Original, Summon Black Witch, Effects. So does that mean they play two Original? They're going to chain SP to Banish. They do play two Original. Okay. And then Activate Bonfire, Chain Ash Blossom, Activate Wanted, Banish, Put Back Original, and then draw into a Ash Blossom, which does work there, because um, they can Normal Summon that. And then they can Original get rid of it, but like... Uh, it's kind of tough because, like, your opponent has a set back row, right? So they're going to go, you know, you can you can probably just tell that it's going to be Imperm. It could be a bluff, though. But bring out Snake Eye Ash and then Imperm it. Battle phase, attack. And then end phase, get back the Black Witch and SP Little Knight. Pass, they draw on the Imperm. And then Island, destroy Kieran, search out Karunix, new chain link, Karunix 1, Kieran 2. The opponent goes ahead and emits defeat there. We can summon back out Ponix from the graveyard, summon Karunix. Uh, now next game we got Wanted, Populous, Wanted, Droll, Talons. They have Snake Eye Ash, Called by, Black Witch, Nib, and Valor. So they're going to go normal summon, so pretty much drew zero hand traps. Uh, Snake Eye Ash, go ahead, search out Populous, drop Droll. And then, well, you know, Populous 1, Droll 2, Called by 3. And then Banish, Special, Populous Effect, Go Search Out Divine Temple. And then Activate Divine Temple to bring out Flame Burge. Now go into Link Karibo, Populous Spawn Trap Zone itself. Then get rid of Populous, Summon Black Witch, Black Witch Effect to go set. That's going to set Original. Then Original, send Link Karibo to bring out the Jet Synchron. Yeah, that's fine. So we're just trying to go Savage next then. Yeah, Summon Savage effect to equip the Link Karibo. And they said, that's fine. And then Snake Eye Ash, send itself plus Link Karibo. Uh, which also, I feel like I've been asked this a lot. But yes, the Savage will still have its negate. It just doesn't have the attack boost. Bring out Oak. Oak, bring out Jet Synchron. Oak, send itself plus Flame Burge. Go summon out Flame Burge. Then Flame Burge Graveyard effect can summon back out two bodies from the Graveyard. So bring out Snake Eye, Ash, and Oak. So they do play the Double Flame Burge. Then summon Formula. Formula, draw on the Wanted. And then activate Wanted to add back the Black Witch from the Graveyard to the hand. Okay. And then Wanted, Banish, put back, draw. Draws into Wanted. Nice. Uh, make IP. And then Flame Burge to spell and Trap Zone Formula. So that way we can use it on their turn. Special, make Baron. And then Flame Burge summon back out. Uh, set wanted pass. They draw bell. Uh, normal populous populous effect, and then go search out original. Okay, now uh, make link karibo populous spell and trap zone itself. Original send populous and then savage. And then on res they have the flame bird summon out formula and then go up into a baron. And then they get the Flame Burge effect to special summon back out from the graveyard. They chain Bell onto that. 
Then they're thinking if they want to stop that or not. Um, I mean, okay, here's the thing. If you stop it, you do get a bunch of follow-up, right? But, like, uh, I feel like IP, Baron, Valor, and Nib is just simply enough. Right? Like, you're going up against three cards, they've already normal summoned, they've used original already, they've normal populist and used the effect, so they still have, like, the extender part of that. I feel like you just let it go. Yeah, they said okay to it. Activate wanted, sure, go search out Black Witch, and then wanted, put back, draw on the Snake Eye Ash, then they just submit the feat. So, on to game number three now. We will go ahead and see Team J and C go first. We got Talons, Droll, Talons, Black Witch, Bonfire. They have Bonfire, Imperm, Nib, Droll, Snake Eye, Ash. So Bonfire goes search. Grab out the Snake Eye, Ash. Then drop Droll. Talons, look at the hand. Hit back the Snake Eye, Ash. So they have Nib, Imperm, Bonfire. Pass, they draw Imperm. So, you know, Droll can deal with the Bonfire there. They're going to go... Bonfire, search Snake Eye Ash, drop Draw and Lockbird, pass, draw Ponix. Yeah, see, this, this is nice. Just hand trap, pass. Nice. Uh, now, normal summon Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash effect, then imperm that, then summon Black Witch by sending Ponix from hand. Black Witch effect now to go set from the deck. They're thinking on this. Um. So, I guess it's like a little bit awkward, right? Because, like, we only know Nib, Snake Eye Ash. We don't know about the other Imperm. So it's like, I mean, they could go like set original Link Karibo, original send Link Karibo to go summon. And now you can't Imperm what they bring out. It's like also, do they even, they probably don't even play two Ponyx, right? It's most likely just a one of. But let's see. What will they do here? They said it's okay. So set original. And then now they're thinking on what they want to do next. Original send. Because they also have to think, like, you know, you do have to play around rock. And, okay, so they're going to go ahead, just bring out oak. And then oak effect to summon back out from the graveyard. Imperm. I guess this makes more sense, especially if oak is what we're going for. Because, like, ash, black witch, oak, summon back out of body. Then you could, like, oak send, bring out flame burge. Huh. And then, like, Flame Bridge would end up getting to Ponyx. After we link off, we get hit with Rock, and then we have Talons to peep the hand again. Hit the Snake Eye Ash out of it. That doesn't seem, like, that crazy, though. Um, but, okay, they're going to Imperm the Oak, then make a Link Karibo. Battle Phase. Well, we should have attacked with Oak, right? Not Link Karibo, because it's just more damage. Yeah, a little, little misplay there. Summon SP, then they're thinking here. I mean, shouldn't they be using SP effect to banish Droll? Since that's what they did before. Are you using effect? Yeah. Okay, so they're going to SP banish Oak out of Graveyard. I was going to say, they should be banishing something with SP. They just, like, never declared it. But now, end of main, drop the rock. And then set over one zone. Okay, and then Talons think which effect, because they could draw, which is risky. They could look at the hand and get rid of the Snake Eye Ash and just put him on top deck, which is what we're going to do. Said hand and put it in God's hand. Okay, they drew Flame Verge, so that's definitely not going to work. Battle Phase, beat over token. Okay, but now do they top deck? Well, I guess they don't need a top deck because they have original, so that's just game. Uh, draw Snake Eye Ash, normal summon effect. Yeah, it didn't even matter though, because we had this. So, like, this was going to get us some combo anyways. And, like, our opponent just was on nothing, yeah, and their top deck wasn't going to do anything again and again. But then it would have, you know, only, like, four turns later. But, okay, that's it for the first match. On to the next one now. We still see Team J and C versus Landon Oliver. And we will go ahead and we will see Team J and C win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. And they will decide to go first. 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands. We have Island, Original, Ash, Blossom, Garunix, Called By. They have Bonfire, Talons, Droll, Populous, and Kieran. Okay, so we have a Fire King, Snake Eye, Mirror Match. Activate Island. Island effect. Destroy Ash, Blossom. Go search Kieran. 
Yeah, I mean, you can't destroy Grunix, search out a different body, and then Grunix summon, so... But now, summon Grunix, but... Okay... Um... Huh, think, 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 think. So they decide to not drop Droll, which is, like, fine, because if they had Snake Eyes, right, you'd think that they would start with it. They actually have original here, so we're gonna go destroy Ponix and then original Sun go summon, bring out Snake Eye Ash effect, go search Oak, and then normal Oak, Oak bring out Ponix. I mean, huh, I don't know. Maybe the opponent should have just been like, all right, I'm gonna cut my losses and drop Droll after Snake Eye Ash search. Uh, but okay, Ponix go search out Circle. And then Snake Eye Ash and then Self Plus Oak, bring out Flame Bridge. It's not like they're going to be searching that much more, though. It's, it's really just, like, the Ponix, right? Unless if they decide to go into, like, a Heat Soul line or something. Uh, go up into Sunlight Wolf, Flame Bridge effect, summon back out two from the graveyard, Sunlight Wolf, add back the Ash Blossom that we had destroyed, and then Ash into a Link Karibo, and then Link off into a Princess, Princess effect, bring out Sunlight Wolf. And the reason why they went for Link Kribo first is because now they can turn those two into a Heat Soul. And then Heat Soul, pay a thousand, draw into Snake Eye Ash. And then go up into Whale, set called by Circle, pass. They draw Snake Eye Ash. Also, when Whale is destroyed, we can summon back out Heat Soul. Heat Soul effect, draw. That's going to be another draw setup. Uh, and they can also draw into Droll and Lockbird, since they never had to get hit with Called by there. Uh, I mean, I get it, they're trying to play around talents and stuff, and also their opponent's hands seem kind of weak. Activate Bonfire. Bonfire, go search out Populous. Then Populous Effect, go summon. Populous Effect, go search. They're thinking on this, you know, trying to bluff the Imperm or something. And then Populous, go search out the original. Now, Link off into a Link Karibo. Populous, Spell and Trap Zone itself. Original, Send Populous, Chain Ash Blossom onto that. Normal, Summon out Snake Eye Ash. Snake Eye Ash effect, go search out Ponix. Okay, that's fine. I'm trying to think, because, like, uh, I mean, we did have Kieran. Eventually, we could make this live too with a crash. We could go like Kieran pop and then summon out and try to do something like that. Our talents is live, but we're gonna go search out Ponix and then afterwards. I mean, they do have SP set up too, and yeah, we don't do anything there. But now they're gonna go Snake Eye, Ashton, Selfless, Link, Karibo, and then Chain Called by you know trades with two bodies there. Uh, talents to go take Whale. And then chain Kieran effect. So destroy whale, special, they take Kieran. Uh, I could have also summoned this in defense. And then activate whale, summon out heat soul, heat soul, pay a thousand, draw into effect veiler. Hey, that's that's a solid draw if you ask me. Kieran effect, destroy populace, special summon, and then ponix, special summon, ponix go search, you can't veiler it. Um yeah, I mean, you, you really can't veil it, because they just go chain link Karibo and dodge it. So, yeah, that's fine. Go search out the Fire King Sanctuary, and then link off the Ponix and Kieran to go into a Hida. Now, um, okay, it's awkward, right? Because, like, Hida will get its search. But, like, that doesn't matter, right? Yeah, that won't really matter. So you can let them get the surge. And then we have... Yeah, because we can whale pop. We have princess pop. So here, on the summon of the Hida, we're going to go princess effect, pop Hida, pop Heat Soul. And then special summon out. Now new chain link, Hida 1. And then they're thinking if they want to activate Whale, which I mean, Whale, you probably shouldn't be activating. I was going to say, you could have Whaled instead of Princess is what I was trying to say, not use both. Because you could have Circle, Pop, Heat Soul, Summon back out from the graveyard. And then you have the uh, Whale effect that would activate there. But yeah, I don't think he Whaled a Kieran in that spot. Uh, they're going to go search out the Arvata. Sure. Activate Sanctuary, Sanctuary, go bring out Island, 
Now here we're gonna go circle, pop princess, summon out, flame bird, garunix one, whale two, whale pop sanctuary, summon out garunix, then garunix effect, go destroy a Kieran, Kieran effect, summon back out Ponix, and then pop island. And you know, cut them off from the Garunix access. Uh, island effect will activate to destroy. Ponix will go search. Um, oh yeah, we still have Sanctuary. So we can go ahead and search out the Sanctuary there. And then pop Kieran. Uh, they do get Kieran effect to go summon and pop, but I was gonna say it's not gonna do anything. So on to game number two. We will go ahead and see Landon Oliver go first. We got Bonfire, Wanted, Droll, Talents, Kieran. They have Judgment, Snake Eye Ash, Talents, Droll, Called By. Holy! I mean, the Droll's not good. But we have Called By, Talents, Combo, Judgment. So, Summon Out, Snake Eye Ash, Effect. Go search out Populous. And then activate Populous Effect. Droll them. Summon Out. Said sec, what's wrong? Think on Droll Chain Link 3. Like on the Summon of Populous. You literally had keep going. Yeah, I meant like keep going until I stop you. You want me to call a judge? Go ahead. Declared Populous. Sent Droll. You're acting like I withheld the Droll. I dropped Droll one second after you revealed Populous. Then five seconds later you summon Populous. Get a judge. Um. I mean... Okay, they went Ash, Populous, Declared Populous, Draw, Summon, they said Sack. I mean, uh, it's like, it's just awkward. Because I guess, like, why did Team J and C throw up the Keep Going button when they had an interruption? Honestly, I hate the Keep Going button. This is what the Keep Going button does. It just creates Judge Calls. It's just asking to get sharked. That, that's that's literally all it's there for is to get sharked for someone to shark or for someone to get sharked that's the whole point of it i set it at the start of the turn and i didn't respond to ash as soon as you activate populace i draw keep going doesn't mean i have no interruptions or hand traps it just means keep going till i stop you it this, this is what i'm saying like if people don't understand what the keep going button means like, some people think, like, it means no. Like, it, you know, you can have different interpretations of what the keep going button actually means. I don't know if they actually have a thing on the DB forms for it. I actually don't know. Think on Droll was 29 seconds after Populous was summoned to just wild. Um, well, they said... Oh, they said suck. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess let's, let's see what the judge rules it as. Because I feel like... Put, keep going is wild. Okay, so the judge ruled it that they were not able to called by the drawn Lockbird, which is, uh, that's a big difference, right? Not being able to called by the draw there. That goes from, like, having big combo to not having big combo. We still have Snake Eye combo, we just don't have the Fire King stuff in rotation now. Also, I guess we get to keep draw and called by. Uh, Snake Eye Ash, Sun itself plus Populous to summon out Oak. Okay. Um, what are they cooking up here? Because he could have gotten like Populous 1, and then Spell, Trap Zone, Ash, Sun, Flame Verge 2, 4, you know, Princess, up, up, up. But okay, they're gonna go Oak, Populous, summon out Snake Eye Ash, Spell and Trap Zone, Populous, Oak, Sun, bring out Flame Verge. Okay, well, I guess we get to make some Light Wolf then. Or an IP. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. And then activate Flame Burge effect. Summon out the Ash and the Oak. And then use those to go up in the Princess. Princess effect. Summon back out Flame Burge. Flame Burge effect. Bring out the IP. Go in the Whale. Set Judgment. Called by. Pass. They draw in the Rock. Then activate Bonfire. Bonfire goes search out Snake Eye Ash. Then drop to one lock brew. But it is crazy though, because like, I don't know. The opponent should have seen Droll and said like, oh wait, like think. You know? Because obviously they saw it, right? Like there's no way they didn't. But I guess like they technically didn't declare it or something. Oh yeah, I mean they obviously didn't declare Droll. Yeah. I don't know. 
I mean, there's like ways to try to fight the judge calls. He's got to know what to say to. Wanted, go search out Black Witch. And then summon out Black Witch, send Kieran, Black Witch effect to go ahead and try to spell in Trap Zone. Um. Huh. Because we know. We know. Hmm. Gosh, it's just so weird. We could judgment this. We also have Princess. That could take the body off field. Okay, they're going to go ahead and set original. And then now they will go original, send Black Witch, bring out Populous, and Populous in the Link Karibo, Populous, Spell and Trap Zone. It's just like the droll is really good this turn. So, like, they're going to win anyways. So that think on Populous effect that they want to called by. I mean, obviously they know that they have called back because they thought on the droll like that. They thought on that. Normal summon out the Snake Eye Ash, and then Flame Bird summon out IP, IP effect, and we just judgment the last card. Yeah, that's definitely just what we do here. So, on to game three. Banish, summon back out, Populous, Oak, Oak effect, add back Snake Eye Ash, and then they admit defeat. So, going on into game number three now, we will go ahead and see Team J and C go first. We got Bonfire Original, one for one Kieran, Flame Bridge, they have Bonfire Original, Wanted, Super Poly, one for one. So, activate Bonfire, go search Snake Eye Ash, then normal summon out Snake Eye Ash, effect, go search out Populous, Populous Summon, Pop. Bulus probably won't search. Yup, make Link Karibo. Effect, bench itself. Snake Eye Ash, send itself plus Populus. Go bring out Flame Burge. Flame Burge, Spawn Trap Zone, Populus. Original, send Populus. Bring out Ponix. Ponix, Sanctuary Island. Island, destroy Ponix. Go search Garunix. Summon out Garunix. Effect, go destroy Arvata from the deck. Then Arvata effect, bring out Ponix from the graveyard. And then we can link all three off in the princess. This is like the classic combo. Effect, bring out Arvata. So we have protection. So now we can link away the flame brooch. Because this is playing around rock very well. Go up in the sunlight wolf. Flame brooch effect. Summon out Ponix, Populous, Sunlight Wolf. Add back Runix to play around stuff like Soul Release. And then summon out Link Karibo by tributing Ponix. Make Heat Soul, Heat Soul, pay a thousand to draw. Draw on the called by, then they're gonna go one for one, discard Garunix. Okay, so you know, not playing around the soul release. Go ahead, bring out Oak, Oak effect, add back Ponix, and then link off into IP, set called by, pass. But I mean, you know, this is still pretty good. We didn't make an Appalooza, which is like fine. We could IP in the Apple if we really want it. Also, Apple, I don't know. I really like Apple, but at the same time, I feel like it's been a little bit weird just because uh, talents on Apple is like kind of scary. They draw Harpy's Feather Duster, and then pay a thousand off Heat Soul to draw. They said think with player priority and draw phase, Super Poly, discard one for one to go summon out Mud Dragon. Yep, that's fair to start off with. And then they can also use this effect to call Fire at one point. And then they won't even be able to activate Princess Effect um, until they go through, like, Fire King stuff. But Wanted, go search Black Witch. And then Main Phase, summon out Black Witch, send Harpies Black Witch Effect, go set the Wanted from the deck. Then Kieran Effect. Uh, okay, summon Pop, Ponix, Garunix summon, Garunix effect, go destroy Kieran, Kieran effect, summon back out the Ponix from the graveyard, pop Mud Dragon, Ponix effect, go search for Circle, okay, like, could have also brought out Arvata there, we can go for Ponix, grab Circle, then IP effect, go up in the SP, SP effect, go banish, I wonder if we play the, the rank 8, it kind of seems like it with how we played here. Activate Bonfire Ghost Search, search out Snake Eye Ash, then Normal Summon Snake Eye Ash, Effect, Chain SP, Banish Itself, plus Snake Eye Ash, go search for Populous, and then Populous Summon out, sure, sure, uh, that's fine, and then set anything on Summon, Sanctuary, Overlay, Summon, Effect, 
Pop the Populous, Populous to spell in Trapzone itself, Ching called by, and we know this card's wanted, and we pretty much know this card's original, otherwise they would have said original, so yeah, just checkmated them there, so, alright, so GG, first or last is next, okay, ha, ha, <laughs> that's funny, they didn't, they said GG, and they said, oh, I'm taking back my GG, and just saying, okay, <laughs> Uh, you know, you know, a, li a little, a little bit, uh, competitive because of, like, all the, the judge call, but we now, now we got Team JNC versus First or Last Gaming, I'll also link them down below, yeah, I didn't even know what the, the team name was, um, but now I'm pretty sure it's that, so going on into match number three, we will see First or Last Gaming win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, and they will decide to go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Island, Bonfire, Original, Flame Burge, Garunix, they have Oak, Ash Blossom, Divine Temple, Flame Burge, and Effect Veiler. So, they're going to go ahead, activate Divine Temple, Divine Temple, bring out Populous, Normal Oak, Oak Sun itself plus Populous, bring out Snake Eye Ash, Ash 1, Populous 2, Spell and Trap Zone Oak, go search out Populous, Populous Summon, Populous Effect to go search, go grab out the Original Sinful Spoils, and then Snake Eye Ashton and Self Plus Oak bring out the Flame Burge. Original Send the Divine Temple bring out Jet Synchron. Okay, make a formula. Formula effect the draw into a Talons. Okay, then go up in the Baron. Then we get Flame Burge effect to summon back out from the graveyard. That's going to bring out the Oak. And the Ash, then we have Oak Effect that can summon back out. So summon out Jet Synchron. Then go up into a IP Mascarena. Then make Princess. Princess in the Flame Burge. Flame Burge can spell in Trap Zone the IP. We have Jet Synchron Effect that can go discard Flame Burge. Special summon out. And then go ahead and make a Whale. Sure. Pass turn. So we have Princess, Baron. Flame Burge and IP, Valor, Ash, then pass, they draw Ash Blossom, okay, this hand's also a little bit awkward, you know, we have Grunix in the hand, this card, like, sucks to draw, we have Flame Burge, card sucks to draw, so now we're gonna go main phase, Bonfire, go search out the Snake Eye Ash, and then Normal Summon Snake Eye Ash effect, and then Chain Effect Valor, and then Original Send, Chain Ash Blossom, and then, yeah, that's just game. So, going on to game number two now. We will see Team JNC go first. We have Kieran, Crossout, Snake Eye Ash, Valor, Nib. Okay, so, combo. Nice. And then Crossout next to it. They have Wanted, Snake Eye Ash, Ash Blossom, Populous, Black Witch. So, we can stop their one hand trap. Summon Snake Eye Ash, Effect. Go search out the Populous. Populous summon also having cross that's so much better than called by here because it'll leave a fire in their grave Populous grab original make link karibo Populous spawn trap zone snake eye ash and self plus Populous to go summon flame birds flame birds spawn trap zone original ascend And then you know, but they're gonna try to ash we cross out yeah, just once again Doing pretty much the same combo as before so Ponix said you're using Flame Burge to put Populous in Spell and Trap Zone. Yes. And then, you know, Ponix, Sanctuary, Island, Island, summoning out Garunix, Garunix, destroy Arvata, Arvata, summon out Ponix, Link 3 into the Princess, Princess effect, summon back out the Arvata from the graveyard. Then we can go ahead, Link off into a Sunlight Wolf, Flame Burge effect, summon back out Ponix, Populous, Sunlight Wolf, grab back the Garunix. And then we can go summon out Link Karibo, Tribute, and then turn those into Heat Soul. Heat Soul, pay a thousand, draw into another copy of Rock. And then make Whale, turn Whale into World Sea, World Sea effect to put itself into the main monster zone. Pass. So they just want to put the Whale into the graveyard there. Okay. Okay. And then. Ah, uh, trying to think was that worth putting this into the graveyard because couldn't we have popped it anyways with like i, I guess we just want to play around super poly since we saw it before yeah that's really it okay yeah we're just trying to play around super poly 
So they're gonna, you know, draw on the rock, wanted, go search Black Witch. But to be fair, we played around this card anyway, so I wouldn't have done anything. Uh, summon Black Witch, send Populous, then one, two. And then Chain Veiler onto Black Witch, and then Populous will spawn Trap Zone, the Ash Blossom there. Okay. And then we have Normal Summon out, Snake Eye Ash. I mean, like, technically we could have ended on the Heat Soul IP Arvanta if we wanted to do that again, since we decided to do that last time, but maybe since we've actually, like, seen Super Poly now, um, before, we decided to just, like, full commit and play around it. Also leaves, like, the Heat on the extra deck. But Snake Eye Ash effect, Arvanta stop it. Then destroy Kieran, Kieran summon out Ponix, and then pop Snake Eye Ash, Ponix effect goes search. Yeah, and they just go ahead and admit defeat there. So on the game three now, we will see first or last game and go first. This could be the last game of the Iron Man. It could be a sweep. We got Island, Bonfire, Bell, Valor, Wanted. They have Droll, Black Witch, Imperm, Droll, Jet Synchron. Okay, well, Droll is a good send for Black Witch there. Well, not good sun, but it is the sun. Then Valor the Black Witch, Normal Summon Out, Jet Synchron, Co op in the SP Little Knight, Set Imperm, Pass, Draw on the Ash Blossom. So now we're gonna go main phase, Bonfire, Search Out, Populous, Populous, Chain Link 1, Draw Chain Link 2, Wanted Chain Link 3, Go Search Out Black Witch, and then Summon Out Populous, and then. Um, how do we want to do this here? Because we could, like, link one, send, special effect, then they have SP. Uh, but we could also out the set card this turn. Summon Black Witch by sending Island, Battle Phase. Yeah, it's like we could also just do it like this. Not use the effect, beat over, and then Populous Attack. And then we can turn these two into a Dark Charmer to take their Black Witch. And then use their Black Witch effect to go set. And just do it like that. So, now we will go uh, main phase 2. Because I don't even think we're going to go up in the Princess, right? It's just going to be SP finish the back row. So, Populous, make Link Karibo. Populous spawn trap zone itself. Use those, go up in the SP. Okay, SP to go banish the back row, so we don't try to risk it by Dark Charmer and take this, which would be a little bit risky, really not that risky, but it takes away this interruption off the field. Sure, yeah, okay, so they imprim the SP, and then normal summon out Bell. Oh, true, wait, true, we haven't normaled. So I guess even after that, we just normal summon Bell, because that card doesn't really do anything anymore. And now we can go Dark Charmer into Black Witch, and then Black Witch goes set original, then original Sun Populous, and then just combo from there. It's just game. We'd have to play in the Imperm, which we don't. Okay. Then original Sun Populous goes summon out Oak. Oak effect summon back out. We have Princess set up. Our opponent's on zero cards. We also have Ash Blossom in hand. Like, that's just game. Yup. They played that well, they played that well. Uh, go up in the IP, then Oak send itself plus IP, bring out Flame Burge, Flame Burge spell and Trap Zone IP, and then go up in the Princess, uh, Flame Burge summon back out too from the graveyard, Princess summon out Flame Burge from the graveyard, and then we can go ahead, go Oak, Princess, up into a Whale, pass. All right, so you know, technically not the correct zone positioning, but it's game anyways, they can't be Ash IP, Princess, with their top deck normal effect chain ash and then yep that's just game so gg gg so we see team j and c sweep them in the iron man there uh we see the fire king snake eye deck beat two pure snake eye decks and a fire king snake eye deck it's just you know it's the year of fire tons of fire decks uh, it does make good gameplay, though, a lot of the time. You know, I mean, sometimes there is, you know, just a ton of hand traps and not a lot of engine, and both players are kind of just, like, passing. Uh, you know, Droll can be very good. Droll is definitely better against, like, the Fire King build than it is the pure build. Uh, but, you know, also, if you start off with, like, 
normal summon snake eye ash effect go search populist but then they draw it's like you know you're still at least building something there and you know that's at least something off of one card through a draw like, that's pretty good that's pretty good and then you can have non-engine in your hand but you'll probably have some engine that's just not live or something and then maybe a non-engine or two there but all right that's going to be it for the iron man and we see Team JNC win. Again, I'll link all three of the things down below in the description if you want to go ahead and check them out. And the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.